How's it going? It's Nerdy by Nature. My name's Elijah, hanging out with you on game night. Yes, uh, new structure we're taking on Wednesdays and Fridays, as you know, two 20-minute episodes each night, just for you. Same feed, don't worry about it, nothing you got to do, all the magic behind the scenes. Uh, BBS, Bolts and Board Systems, remember then, before the internet, 256-bit encryption, nerds, bestry. These were really cool, believe it or not. ASCII graphics, door games, Usenet groups, um, you had to dial in, no internet, no high-speed internet, that is, localized internet really good time. Chris is here. Hey. Uh, the king of beers, Captain Platt. Um, do your cats play BBS? Games? <laughs> is there a way they can fall around bouncing lights or something? No, like I think they only wish they could. Hmm, true. I don't think they know what going, what's going on. For Jamie, who's back again. Um, just for Jamie, Chris, if you don't mind kind of going through. You're using yeah. Netrunner I, to get yeah. into Telnet and all that fun stuff? Yeah, so basically back in the day we had BBSs, which stands for Bulletin Board System. And you were able to dial in using your computer and a modem. Okay. The only problem with that was most boards were one line. So you had to wait if there was a busy signal. And the big ones, like in Kitchener and Toronto, they had four lines. Yeah. That was huge. Yeah. So that meant there's only a certain number of people could be in at any one time? Right. Only one. Really. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, so it'd be going and I put my thing up and then I leave yeah. and then somebody else could. You would try and dial in, right? Yeah, and it's if not it like was there's busy. It would ju- just continue to keep trying. Right? It's not like there's a whole bunch of nodes with the internet, uh, yeah. with uh, IP or VoIP. It's literally one person in. It's crazy. But the capabilities of what you can do on the board were everything from messages to downloading files to playing online you games, can email, message people. Yeah, um, it, it truly was a community. Yeah, and the people that dialed in because of long distance. You normally would only interact with people that were in your city and maybe the city like next to it because after that it becomes long distance, right? Yeah. Nobody wanted to pay long distance fees to get into the, the BBS. Exactly. Like you wouldn't want to dial from here to Toronto. It wouldn't make any sense. But there were people that would do stuff like that. Right. When when long distance plans came into effect, yeah. it wasn't way back then. I'm sure it was like 50 cents a minute to call yeah. Toronto. So there's a certain irony now that there is no such thing as long distance anymore. Right. <laughs> <that> all phone <laughs> no, calls are handled all. through yeah. the internet. Yeah. Pretty yeah. much. Yeah. Skype would have been great for this sort of thing. Absolutely. Yeah. So how do you get in username, password? Yeah. Sort of the thing? usual story. Yeah. At that time, people would have to... Uh, you know, log in, sign up, send the uh, system operator an email to let them know, and then they would call you or you'd have an automatic validator that would make sure that you're calling from a legit telephone number. So it's not just robotic or spam or something like that. Yeah. Spam even existed in those days. Well, a version of it, right? Because the one thing that they didn't want was fake people joining the boards causing trouble or playing games because sometimes you could log in and make two or three people i'm guilty of it actually would go in and, and do a bunch of turns on your game because a lot of the games are turn-based yeah. yeah so you'd have um you'd be able to finish like 20 turns you'd be done for the day and off you go so if you get some bots involved and you can you know really get things going a little network of uh uh, uh, shysters. Imagine D and D, something pretty big in this. So, something similar to that, and sometimes group games where you join as a group. So if you have fake names oh, yeah. going in, well, right. Do you ever play Drug Wars? No. No, the game where it's all text based, and you just basically press a letter to go to a different city to buy these fictitious drugs and stuff like that. So similar to that, more people would know about that because it's more closer to our general. Area, but there's games that were more sci fi based where Chris was getting into trade wars and yeah, trade and, wars and, was um, Zork favorite. Zork in that, no. you know what, right? No. That was um, it was a text based game, a, yeah. and there was some where there was um, like almost role playing games where you'd have to pick a direction, um, where you're going in a house to figure out what's going on, similar mm. to DD, where you, yeah, they were really simple, very just the, the graphics on there was like ANSI, or if you were using. Commodore 64, they were what, pet ski or whatever it is. Sure. Can you give us a little tour? Yeah, yeah. What's going on? Okay. Yeah. It blow Jamie's mind. The simplest <laughs> things are, are really amazing and fascinating. And it's not the graphics that were here, it's all the programming involved. And so I'm a surrogate for a certain portion of the audience in this episode. Yeah. There's going to be those that clearly know everything that's going on. There's going to be those like me that right. all You can help explain everything into li- layman's <laughs> terms from an engineering perspective and, and go from there. So I did uh, way back in what it would have been the late 80s, early 90s, I did attend the YMCA computer camp that they used to run every mm. year in the summer downtown. Nice. 
And, and I'm sure, actually, if I think about it, there was probably some BBS activity going on there. Yeah, probably. And it's back in the day for sure. And our Tandy 1000s. Oh, yeah. Definitely. I had a Commodore. What I remember explicitly, and I was telling Chris earlier off air, is uh, you never forget L O A D, shift two, uh, star dot star, <laughs> shift two, comma eight, comma one. Oh, the tape drives were the worst because you have to get uh, tape just to a certain point. If the tape stretched, you'd miss that point. I did not have that fancy peripheral. I was five and a quarter inch floppy, the uh, real floppy disk. Yes, the real one. <laughs> yeah, that's a little less uh, strenuous. And um, is it where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Yep, that was the big one. That was good. Spun off into an excellent TV show. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I remember yeah. that one. Sing it, Rockapella. Sure did. So what's what's going on so, here? So you got the screen up. Yeah, but for so, those who can't see, you've got a list of systems of BBSs. For the internet days, it's all websites. Back in the day before the websites, it was phone numbers. Right, exactly. So in this program here, I'm able to enter in their IP address. And that's Netrunner. In Netrunner, and it connects to their server uh, through Telnet connection. So you have one that's most active that you you go to? Yeah, I'll, I'll show you an example of one. This is called the Metal Zone uh, okay. BBS. You've also got one there called the Necronomicon, yeah. which is in Valhalla. Yeah, oh yeah. I mean, you, you <laughs> could spend flag. all day doing this. Dreamland BBS. And, and, you, and nowadays you get three or four people on there at a time. So we just watched you connect in under a second. Take exactly. me back 25 years. What, is that, what does that look like then? Minutes? At least at least a minute or so, because wow. then it dials out, right? You got to get the connection and, and actually ring into. You get that all the weird noise from the modem. You connect into it. Oh, you're connected. Okay, there's the handshake involved, and then you can load up the screen, which takes forever. Loads the ASCII or the the text based graphics that you see, and then you put in your username and password, and then it has to load everything, your profile, yeah, and all that's that what stuff. We're doing and that's here. because you're connected with, and, and you're also back then you're connected with a physical wire to your computer. Exactly. Right? Whereas right now you're using a keyboard that's not connected to anything physical right. to a computer that's not connected to any type of physical connection that's somehow getting the information passed right. in and out. In past, it was um, real phone lines, and there was the 300 baud modems, which were the the slowest entry level modem we had 14.4 and 56k those were awesome and super right before high speed internet in the 90s but going back into early 80s late 70s this was just uh, super basic stuff and yeah everything did take a minute um even then when we first got the modems um you probably remember jamie when you first got that wave in london as you said the the pictures would kind of scroll in lines and this is kind of the same thing but in text yeah, it's all tech space. So once you log in, as you can see, we uh, we saw some of their screens. And what's nice with this program is you have a bit of a buffer, so you can go back and have a look at maybe some stuff that you missed. Okay, especially if you get the yeah the intro. A lot of people spend a lot of time in these uh, tech space graphics. And yeah, I mean that's that that's cool. crazy. There's there's other pictures that are far like complex than this mm. okay so we get to the menu here and you can see we have message systems we've got bulletins who's online if there's other nodes connected we have files there's an online system there's games all programmed with dos hotkey menus pretty much yeah <laughs> yeah now they're really. they're all using their own program synchronet is basically uh sort of a newer player to this field um one that specializes in being able to hook up to the internet but some people have used some of the older programs and ported them. There's mm. a lot of scripting, a lot of programming behind the scenes on this, so it's, it's not a lot, really manual. Yeah. yeah, it's not as simple as just installing software and hooking a modem up to it anymore. It actually requires you to do some stuff with it. So there is a huge following on Facebook. So, so, so for example, the system bulletins that you see, if you hit S. Yeah, let's happens. have a look. Okay, so there's nothing in there right now. Okay, uh, message systems. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, let's see what they have for messages. Okay, so there's quite a few message bases here. And um, this one here appears like it's hooked into what they called like a FIDL net back in the day where the message bases were all connected to all, uh, a few or a handful of bulletin boards that were, you know. It's really what evolved into forums. Yeah. Basically, yeah. Much. yeah forums and that sort of thing, or where they actually have to connect at night to sync up everything with each other and then 
Yeah, the that's what would together. happen. Yeah, usually they go down somewhere between midnight or 1 a.m. for polling, we'll they say. Call yeah. each other and yeah. update the information. Yeah, exactly. So you're in Metal Zone. What's what's the theme behind the Metal Zone? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm yeah. just showing you exactly oh, okay, what Okay, sorry. Yeah, like they name the BBSs and hopefully your menus and your graphics and all that sort of match the theme. And there are other ones that are better at doing this as you can see they it's just your basic menu on here so, yeah it's up to this they call it system op operator sysops they um they're the leaders they're they're the, the boss i guess you could say the manager of this thing and they come up with different names and it doesn't sound like chris has had that relationship with the person that's in charge of this to figure no, out not what, with this, no. what the metal zone actually is maybe he's a metal head maybe it, it could be the... anything i mean it that's the fun thing you can name your board whatever right mm. but at Saying that, though, you probably want to configure it so that people get the experience, you know, behind what you named it. Sure. And that's what makes a good BBS. But, yeah, to get that whole um, yeah culture behind it, I suppose. So we're, we're in the file area here, and there's apparently um, Commodore 64 uh, stuff on here. But as you can see, there's zero files, okay? Um, so nobody's talking about that or... or nobody's adding files. any files to it. Really, when you have torrents and you have uh, ISO Hunt and a few of the, the other all the places, peer to peer sharing stuff, and yeah, torrent ISO Hunt, yeah, out. yeah, well, pretty much. When you have that, you, there's really no need to actually keep files on here. I remember back in the day getting stuff like Police Quest Two, like two weeks before it hit the store shelves. Yep. Okay. Like, but that's. Today, I mean, you just go to the internet to like a torrent site, and you can do the same thing. Because a lot, interestingly enough, as a sidebar, people in China are using this uh, BBS software because the in communist countries it's so heavily regulated, and the privacy is gone. Um, so you have 128 bit encryption for military and and banks to give a visual, and this is double at 256. So to be able to crack something like this, to wow. be able to get into this. Um, conversation or to figure out what people are talking about a little tougher. So a lot of people that are kind of even hardcore, um, they, they don't, they're anti-privacy Nazis, if you want to call them that, or in communist countries, they'll log into these things to be able to protect themselves a little better. Uh, different use case. As you can see from this list of connections today. Um, Ooh, four people. <laughs> well done. Besides three guests on the the last caller okay so this board for the most part doesn't seem like it has a lot of community i guess we'll say and they don't nowadays because of facebook and that stuff and they don't no but there are sites that are busy and part of the draw now today for these boards will be probably the online games hmm. okay the messages for the for some stuff depends on the topic um there are they are kind of lively. I had joined in some conversations, um, you know, recently about uh, the death of uh, Carrie Fisher. Yeah, Princess Leia, right? Princess and Leia. And other things, of uh, course. Westworld, the other week I was posting on stuff like oh, that. Oh, a great show. Yeah. But, I mean, at the end of the day, though, whether I post here Facebook or I actually go to a movie, whatever yeah. theme, mm -hmm. forum... This is just another means of me being able to carry on a hobby that I loved as a, a child, right? Maybe have, and have more those conversations, more yeah. honest conversation, perhaps. If you're, you're one of those that are worried, uh, or you could talk about the Black Mirror um, and what the uh, the PM had to do in the first episode. Have you not seen that, Jamie? Oh, I've seen uh, so first season. I don't, I don't want to be too graphic. And then, yeah, it, so it's. I'm going to digress just a little. Sure. That, that show Black Mirror, when it came out a few years ago, um, heard it was really good, so went and got it, and someone else had asked me if it was any good, and that person actually happened to work with me, hmm. and I refrained from recommending it, because it's hard to recommend that show based on the content of the first episode. Mm, yeah, so start at uh, <laughs> it's season, season one, episode two. Yeah, there is no episode one. It's well, just, it, it, it's I just mean, it's myth. good, but it's you can't you can't <laughs> say, "Hey, that's a great show." Now go watch this episode because then that person will link the recommendation. I think overall, now the I think the twelve that they've made are all fantastic. I think a few right. years in, and people are kind of they have a inclination what's going on, so they yeah. won't necessarily say, "Okay, Jamie likes episode one stuff." <laughs> they they won't necessarily link that to you, so that's good. It's like, oh, you just like stuff that's interesting, makes you think. Got it.
Yeah, the uh, the episode with um, where you could see every you could choose to see everything that's happened in your life and have instant recall. That one was incredibly with mind blowing. The, uh, was it Hot Shot? The, the the thing that you would embed that essentially could that video recorded everything that, oh, you, that was, saw uh, and you could play it back. I yeah. just got that in episode three where the the guy found out his uh, wife was cheating on him based and he said, prove it and she didn't want to play back the tape. Yeah. She was trying to erase it before he could see it. Yeah, that was really cool, really interesting. You get into a bit of games and stuff like that. Food fight. Yeah, we'll get into more of yeah. those uh, next week for sure. But just yeah. as a kind of, just maybe a little bit. Um, yeah, there's wanna... there's a bunch of games on here. Is there any you, you kind of like These curious are... about? Assassin, is that? That's an old game, isn't it? I, I don't know. That one I'm not familiar with. Okay, good. Hit 15 then. And, All right, let's We're not let's familiar. We'll all experience it, uh, the magic together. Why not? Dun, dun, dun. A lot of exclamation points. Yeah, they, they yeah. matter. Assassin. Yeah. See, I mean, the graphics are, are like pretty basic, right? Oh, yeah. DOS based for sure. Yeah. So um, let's see here. Introduction to starting info, places to go, people to see. Oh, hit return to play. That's important. There Enter key. Go. Thank you. Um, Have you man cloaked and black approaches thee. Ooh. Welcome, dark man almighty. I That's... see thou art new in these parts. Have ye come to join? Oh, my. This I'll, is, uh, I'll use my name then, uh, um, or a different name. Christoph. That seems to be appropriate. Thanks. There we go. Oh, nice. Sure. So it's it's old English. Well, that's probably mm. how fast it's going. It's word by word, and it just gives uh, uh, a text explanation of what's here. going on. Like you said earlier, it's kind of adventuring, Jamie, or a role playing. Yeah. And it's literally all text based. So it, the cool thing is that you can create all the imagery in your head. Which is kind of like a podcast, I guess you could say, but you don't have everything like TV throwing everything at you. It's almost like it's almost too big. Right. Yeah. So yeah. I just did some endurance, and uh, apparently I just increased by 12 points. Really? Okay, to 112. You're in the training yeah. ground, so that's good. So, so wouldn't you just have to maybe get a little buff? Maybe. Like uh, the Assassin's Creed, perhaps? You have to put on your cloak oh good, and your okay. hat. And, and in a true Assassin style, you're training on light weapons, not heavy weapons. Well, I'm doing heavy right now, so I just increased you, you it. you got to start the one thing at a time. Are you going to just jump into the, the heavy two-handed weapons? You could drop yeah, them and fall see. over. Oh, and it's telling you five turns would be deducted. So if this was a multiplayer game, you may have had to wait to do some of these things. Or, right. or you only have a certain amount of turns, yeah. and then it's over, and that's part yeah. of the penalty. So now my training is over. I, okay. I don't have ooh, anything ooh, else. Stop at the pub. You need a drink after all that exercise. Oh, good call. Thanks. Go, you can go okay. to the shopping Let's mall. They had this here. in olden times. A thieves right, delight. So I think they meant to call it the Agora. <laughs> so what do you want Fair. to do? Enter the back room? Um, that sounds like it's... it's Maybe challenge someone to drink <laughs> yeah, off. That's or or look, at, I'm, I'm not saying choose it, but already kill assassin in pub. So Ooh. your very first day on the job and you've identified a target. You need maybe. to drink now, courage first. I I've played it. a lot of these games <laughs> and I, I think maybe this one might be another player. The kill assassin in pub? Yeah, because you uh, can kind of, maybe. You, and so I, that could happen to you. I, let, let's try it. Yeah, see? Who so no one kill? is here oh. to fight. So in, if there was other users coming in and using the game at the same time, and you're it's Possibly, essentially in yes. the pub virtually. Yeah. Or if, say, you ended your turn in the pub, so you wanted to stay there for the night, then someone would be there. There's it's another cool. game called Darkness that's pretty close to the, this a little bit. Wow. It's actually um, an iOS game called Darkness. It's pretty interesting. I wonder yeah. if they're related, but Could so, be. so if you if you chose to end your your game or turn for the night waiting in the pub, you could. I would say probably right, but you'd also use the phone line way back then to. So you'd probably have to exit disconnect, but I don't think it would actually leave you there. I'm guessing wait the night is probably uh, where I'm going to end. You okay. know what I mean? You don't want to see that? Sure. Staying overnight costs a silver piece. Okay. Sure, we'll do Same that. Same recover in the alley, but slightly more protection. So instead of getting on your drunken rear end and sleeping in the alley, you can pass out on the bar stool. So that's nice. And having some of our bouncers protect you. <laughs> oh, so how much? Yes. Mm, yes, yes, you yes. want me to? We're okay. here. All right. Okay, good. Okay. So then that's the so end. So you of have it. 40 turns left in the day. Yeah. So if I wanted to say uh, leave, hmm. come back, I can do that. Yeah. But you have 40 turns. So tomorrow you have another 40, yeah. I suppose, or however many. Yeah. That's pretty cool. So we'll leave it at that for board ga- uh, door games, rather. I want to talk about board games, but that'll come soon enough. Yeah. Um, so the BBS is pretty cool. Uh, if you want to get a bit nostalgic, uh, learn something new, get back into the old school and. Uh, kind of do theater of the mind uh, this this might be something to check out uh, bring a lot of friends because there's not a lot of people 
uh, is still involved in this, but it might be cool to kind of get that community back. Yeah, it's a, it's an alternative to Facebook or the internet. Yeah, it's something different. You know, absolutely. Yeah. So you get Netrunner going. Will it work on a Raspberry Pi? It Ooh. might. Yeah, it, it will. Might. It will. So yeah, a version of that. If these things ran on Commodore 64s, it's it's piece of cake. Oh yeah. One regret. I wish I would have kept my Commodore 64 for the pure nostalgia factor. Oh. Chris's house. He has a live one ready for you. I wow. got. I got With the joystick. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I have three units. <laughs> Two of them need uh, some work. You got, you got, got three drives. You hooked up somehow hooked up at the, the Commodore 64 to the SD card, so you have a yeah. plethora of games. Come and say, oh you got an SD card. That's way any memory that you'll ever need yeah <laughs> yeah yeah the, the, the problem with carbon san diego though is you needed the book because that's how you progressed in the game right. and they stopped the piracy you had to be able to answer a random word on yes the same page. That, yeah and you can get all kinds of early books. drm yeah. yeah yeah that was cool we're gonna have to do this next friday get into door games with you chris it'll be awesome okay um you and i will uh, go head to head Why yeah not? I'll, I'll come up with a list for you if we can get the video thing going then we'll we'll post that online too but uh, for now you're just going to have to listen in, in true theater in mind form. Okay. And Nerdy by Nature, again, Friday. Hit the weekend with uh, some BBS action. Get uh, um, some software going. If you forget where to go and how to get there, hit us up on Twitter. Ask us what's going on. Or if you want Chris to join us, join you for a game. Join us. Let us get nerdy. Facebook, same thing. Instagram, post your pictures of uh, trade wars or whatever you may be. Do it. Let us get nerdy.com. All the episodes you'll ever need. And then some. Geeks Worldwide, thank you again for uh, helping us out, being awesome. DGWW.com. Chris, myself, Jamie, had a good time. And uh, for now, have a great weekend. See ya. Bye. Cheers. <laughs>